by Sultan Hassan, son of Kalawun, Mameluk Sperry. One of the most marvelous mosques we have from that period, what we call it Mameluk Sperry. It is built 1,356 BC, uh, AD, sorry, 1,356 AD. And they took about six, seven years to build or to finish that mosque. It is called the mosque and madrasa. Madrasa means a school to teach inside. And we're going to see the four sects of Islam, Shafi, Malki, Hanafi, Hanbali. Shafi, Malki, Hanafi, Hanbali. So we have Malki school, right? Mal Malki school, Shafi school, Hanafi school, and uh, uh, Hanbali school. Those are the four schools uh, to teach the four sects of Islam. And we see the entrance itself. Look how it's high from the decoration that you see on the top. You know, you feel it's very high mosque. You know, after the main entrance, you know, with two curves, will be at the middle of the mosque itself. What we're gonna find the fountain of ablution. What we call it wudu in Arabic. What the people used to wash before they pray. This is God. This is called the madrasa. Madrasa means a school, all right? So mosque and madrasa of Sultan Hassan, Now directly we are at the center of the mosque itself. Look how it's beautiful. Look to how it's marvelous. The architecture itself of the Mamluks period. All Mamluks mosques built as we see right now. So they built in the middle what we have the fountain of ablution. The water system supposed to be here in the middle and for the four side of the mosque itself. So this is the center of the mosque. Four side what we have four big holes we call it iwans 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 so this is called the iwan this is iwan and this is iwan and the other one called the kibla iwan kibla iwan this is towards mecca saudi arabia all the mosques what they should get the their own direction towards mecca so when you pray you should take the direction towards mecca Right here in Egypt, most of the places what they take, uh, 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 what they call it, the direction towards Mecca is uh, th uh, eastern house, you know, or house, eastern house, right? So this is towards Mecca. This is what we call it Qibla Iwan, or the main Iwan, what we call it Qibla Iwan. Again, the fountain of ablution, right? It's about eight meters. From the whole sides, from the middle of the, the fountain of evolution itself, right? Four, mad, four madrasa or four schools, which is open on the whole side. This is Malki school. What they teach that sect of Malki, I told you that the kids used to come over to study the four sects of Islam: Malki, Shafi, Hanafi, Hanbali. This is the Malki school. And all other three schools, one here, one here, one here. So this is the point.
magnificent. So that curve, that curve, we call it Kabwa, Kabwa. So it's not a ceiling, what we call it Kabwa. Yeah, that curve above. So oh, that ceiling, we call it Kabwa, right? That over there, praying niche. So in at the wall over there, what we're gonna find this, uh, we call it uh, praying niche. Praying niche. In Arabic, we call it mihrab towards Mecca, mihrab towards Mecca, so all mosques, so you're going to find mihrab like this, mm -hmm. what does the Imam Mosque have to stand the front of the whole people coming in the behind, you know, line after line, line after line, even there. So the people there on that side, on that side, you see that lines, you know, but also they should stand like this, giving their faces to praying niche, giving ah. their faces to praying niche, giving their faces to praying niche, right, so. The whole people praying over there, even mm -hmm. what they should give their faces to the praying niche. This is what we call it Mubalagh Dika, the guy reporter, reporter or the, who repeats, the guy who repeats mm -hmm. what the Imam said. Sometimes during the summer, there was no microphones, there was no electricity. So this guy, what he prays above, above this Dika, right? So when the Imam Mosque says, Allahu Akbar, so mm -hmm. he's repeating, you know, what is the Imam says to let the people in the back listen, right? So sometimes when he said Allahu Akbar, so some people in the back they don't hear, right? So this guy repeats what the Imam say. We call it him. We call him Mubalag, Mubalag. So that is that form. What we call it Dikka, Mubalag Dikka. This is Dikka, Mubalag. Or Dikka, Mubalag. Two gates leads us to the tomb itself of Sultan Hassan. So that two gates, right? leads us to the tomb of Sultan Hassan. Look how it's going to be high. Look here to the echo of the voice. It's about 50 meters, 52 meters high. You know, the dome itself, right above the tomb of uh, Sultan Hassan. And at the same time, you're going to see one of the biggest chair for the Holy Book of Muslims, Quran. So one of the biggest uh, what we call a chair carrying Mus'haf, carrying the Holy Quran is inside, made from the wood and also laid with some ivory and so on. So it is an amazing piece inside. So, I will see this is supposed to be the home of the tomb itself of Sultan Hassan, son of Kalawon, Sultan Hassan bin Kalawon. So, this is his tomb. Carrying Mus'haf, supposed to be here, big Mus'haf, they put it here, open the book, supposed to be open, and this is made from the wood, and also laid with some pieces of ivory. This is same decoration where you can see inside the church, we already saw. This is shows you how the Coptic art affects on Islamic art later. Same, 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 right? here. Well, listen, sir. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Ashhad an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhad an Muhammad Rasul.
Ja, das ist der Heilige. Ja, das ist der Heilige.